Hello, and welcome. You know, in the great state of Wisconsin, it is firewood season. But I don't like to burn firewood. No, no, not me. I like to carve it. My name is Jeff Moore. I am the Northwoods Carver. And thanks for seeing what I saw. Stick around. This is otherwise known as my shop bar. My bar. So this is a uh, half a log. Um, I think it's probably a 13 inch diameter or circumference. Uh, anyway, uh, so what we got here, it's a probably, well, maybe it's only a, a 10 or 11. Sorry. Uh, so you're gonna have like five inches this way across here, and then you're gonna have a flat cut, and then you're gonna have um, uh, just this round, right? So what I'm gonna do is create a, uh, a mini bear, like a mini bear, anywhere from five to six inches in total. Anyway, this is what we're talking about. Ain't it cute? So anyway, it's a half log. I just kind of like doing bare forms. It's 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 all raw. It's all rough. It's with a chainsaw. I did touch it with the sander in a few spots. Um, I think that's cool right there. The grain. You can see the grain and like the coloration, and the knots right there. And I don't go too crazy. I, it's just a vague thing. It's cool, something cool to put up on your mantle. You know, but uh, that's that's what we're doing today. When you're in the carving business, like me, you can learn to use different sized pieces of wood to create an income for yourself. And so this is what I've done. You know, because I do a lot of the big stuff, laminations and stuff, doesn't mean that I don't love doing this stuff. I, I love it, um, but I like to do it on my own. Yeah, I guess my own my own time. So I'm not like trying to make money by hauling, you know, ass as fast as I can all the time. I just it's like that burns me out. I've been in this business 33 years this year, and uh, you know my joints and everything they just can't take pounding out little pieces all the time. So I, I like to take breaks. I like to do some lamination because it gets me away from the saw and starts, you know, I start utilizing other parts of my brain um, to create the big lamination stuff, right? And then I get tired of that and then I go into the carving of the lamination and then I kind of get tired of that and I just want to break off and have some fun um, and just be creative, spontaneously creative. I mean, it's it's like a drug. So. I got wood, I got saws, I got gas, I got oil, I got time. Let's get started, shall we? I can't speak for any other people out there, but I can tell you this. This kind of thing was fulfilling because um, I have a short attention span. I have a really good one, but it's really short. So I would call this short attention span theater uh, for the creator and hopefully for the audience. Well, here's the finished product, um, if you want to call it that. So just to be perfectly clear this is not a 3d carved piece like this one this is 
I mean, I probably could fit it in, but it, it, this is meant to be against a flat wall, flat surface. Um, and so you can just like a mantle, fireplace, a fireplace mantle, stoop, whatever, against the wall. Um, the idea is to make it known uh, that it's just chainsaw carving. So there's no fine details. It's just kind of whack, 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 you know, but it's kind of cool, I think. Well, um, it's not as, I did a little bit more detail on this with the saw because this one is way smaller. I didn't, didn't do it at all. Maybe just a little bit in a couple spots because the smaller they get, the smaller the tools you need to put the detail on. So I'm just using a relatively small tool. So if I could just take this sander and just touch this thing up a little bit, it's gonna change. Just to be clear, again, um, this is a three, uh, or I guess a half carving, or maybe a little over half carving. So the back is flat. Um, and what I couldn't do really well in, in, before I started this was to, uh, you know, the sanding process is to just explain why I'm taking down the uh, the rougher edges. And one thing is, is because on a small surface, you know, the tool itself has to make be able to make small as you can see here just it's a very abbreviated and smoothed out and just you know with sparse detail just seems to work better on small things you know um, smooth is best especially if your anatomy's wrong <laughs> but uh, which is which mine isn't horrible but it's you know it is what it is uh, the back doesn't look that great because you know it's you know it's probably a 15 minute car so um well anyway that's so that's the deal with the soft sander it's just totally to uh to soften things down and get rid of the the you know the things that m draw attention to the eye the things that potentially could you know give a false reading of uh what's there or what isn't there to me that's critical you know Thanks everyone for seeing what I saw and look what I made out of a piece of firewood. That's a wrap everyone. Like and subscribe if you would. And uh, also I'd really like to uh, say a, a huge tremendous thank you to our friends over at uh, Big Nell's Power Sports in Westfield, Wisconsin. As well as West Shore Tools in Peshtigo, Wisconsin. Keep your eyes peeled for new videos coming soon.